Hey guys, it's me David. Welcome back to another LEGO review. Um, it's been a while since I've actually done a set review, so good to be back, kind of a new setting. Let me know what you guys think down below of this type of uh, setting for a set review. Uh, but anyhow, we have a LEGO idea set here, just got released actually. Um, it's called the LEGO Mickey Mouse um, Steamboat Willie. So it's the first uh, Mickey Mouse branding that I've ever seen. Um, it is a special Lego idea set, so that means 10,000 people on the Lego Ideas site voted to say, hey, we'd love to have this set made. Um, and me be being a film and photography major, um, Steamboat Willie with Mickey Mouse is a huge deal in the film and animation world. So it's pretty cool that they actually uh, made this set. Um, but, you know, I think some people actually get confused that, like, for some reason that the Steamboat Willie Mickey Mouse cartoon back in the 1920s was actually the first, like, animation or hand-drawn animation. It absolutely wasn't. What it's really known for is actually just introducing Mickey Mouse as a character. Um, it isn't, like, uh, super special in terms of anything uh, in, in the actual animation world. There's plenty of cartoons and Nickelodeons, as they called them, actually. Um, back in the day prior to Mickey Mouse, uh, especially the Steamboat Willie, but this is the first time we really saw the iteration of Mickey Mouse that we know today. Um, and then of course, what's even cooler is, so we have the Steamboat Willie, Mickey Mouse, but we also have Minnie Mouse in this, so very exciting. Um, just give you a quick look at the box right now. Um, it's actually a really cool looking box. Um, has a lot of like thought put into it for sure. Like you have the, um, here we go, we have the film reel right here. Um, they have like the, you know, the artist draw table for when they're doing the hand-drawn animation kind of little things going on right here. So very, very cool. Um, definitely really like it. And then of course it is Lego idea set number 24 right here. So very cool. And uh, I can't wait to build this. I'm curious, some of the stuff on here looks to be uh, printed. So I'm kind of curious about that. All right, so got my knife. Uh, let's go ahead and open this bad boy of a set. All right. So here we go. So it's one of the, it's just like kind of reminds me of the, for one of the first Lego ideas set, which is the Back to the Future set, where it opens up like this. And I really like that design. Um, I know the architecture sets also do that as well. All right. This is wild. Look at this. Do you see all of this multicolored Lego? There's like a ton of it. Okay, I, you know, I was expecting like all black and white Lego when I opened this box, but I was not expecting to be so much colored Lego. Um, get, you know, two of these pieces. And what else we got here? Instruction manual, very cool. All right, Let's put that over here. All right, so yes, it is numbered bags. Very exciting. Looks cool. Uh, just before we go into the build, let's see here. Yep, as I predicted, just like a lot of these cool Lego manuals nowadays, they um, kind of give you a brief history about what the model is and all of that. They even show like the original animation yeah, this looks really cool. We'll talk about the designers and all of that. Yep, yep, very cool. Man, there is lots. I mean, just look look at that picture right there. Look, look at all of that colored Lego. <laughs> that is <clears throat> not what I was expecting at all. I guess they did it so that just the younger folks wouldn't get confused by all of the black and white. But very cool. All right, so let's jump into this build. Let's see what it looks like. All right guys, so here is the Steamboat Willie. And I gotta say guys, this is actually a much more complex set than I thought it would be after building it. Uh, just for quickly first impressions before we dive into the details is that um, based off when you look at this set, it's a black and white Lego set and you're thinking, okay, this is pretty basic, right? It's nothing too crazy. No, that's not the case at all. Um, with its main function being that when you move it back and forth like this, 
the smokestacks and the uh, paddle wheels on both sides here, uh, they all move uh, simultaneously when you're moving it back and forth like this, which is a really awesome function and it's just like the Steamboat Willie animation from Disney. Um, but that does mean there's a lot of Technic on the inside. So just warning anybody who doesn't like Technic, that is something to consider if, if you don't like Technic at all, but I really enjoy Technic actually. Um, but that does mean that it takes a bit more time on the build. I, going in, I thought this would be under an hour. I think I was closer to two hours building it. So it is a complex and time consuming build. Not like too time consuming, it's no, it's no Millennium Falcon. Um, but it is a very nice set. The detail is actually there too. The designers, what they did to add extra detail considering it looks very simple, um, is they use smaller Lego pieces. Like uh, for example, on the flooring, they use small little, smaller tiles to create a more texturized floor. Um, same with the sides around, you know, the main part of the boat, uh, just little details like that are there. And that's just the beginning, you know, diving deeper in the set. Um, we'll get to the minifigures in just a second. You know, of course we have Mickey and Minnie, but other little details in the set are like the little whistles on the top, the fact that you can open it up, put Mickey in there. And then when you open it up, there's actually this little printed tile right here that um, is Turkey in the Straw is what it says. And I believe it's actually the name of the song that Steamboat Willie uses uh, in its background. So that's just, and it has a little musical notes and everything. So that's really cool. You have printed tiles everywhere on this set. Um, I, I believe there's like four or five different printed um, tiles, which is neat. There's no stickers in this set at all, which definitely helps for the fact that the set is $90. Um, it's a bit pricey and we'll talk about that later. Um, but it is very nice in terms of the little details. On the back here, there is um, little pots and pans, a bucket, a little hammer, um, even a little bin that says potato bin, and that is all in reference to the animation, um, which is fantastic. Lego really, uh, especially the designers, really went above and beyond on making sure that this set has every little detail from the Steamboat Willie cartoon. Now, getting to the minifigures, you have two exclusive minifigures, right? So we have Mickey and Minnie Mouse. So of course it's, it even says Mickey Mouse on the box. So it's awesome that we got both of them. Um, I'm sure some people would wish that they uh, got Pete, um, who is also part of the cartoon. Um, but I feel like if you included him, his size would be too uh, uh, enormous because he would have to basically be a big fig and towards a scale. So I can understand why they didn't include that figure. Would have been nice though, um, but we didn't get it. These two um, figures, Mickey and Minnie, they're both really detailed figures. Um, Mickey, for example, his pants are not white like you would assume. Instead, they're actually a chrome colored paint um, that actually they put on, which surrounds all four sides of the minifigure. And so just the little details like that are so nice. Um, custom head, uh, well, actually I think the head is, uh, no, I believe it's the normal Mickey head, but then you have a, a new hat. Minnie, on the other hand, has a new skirt, new pants, a new hat and everything like that. Um, new head, like new head print, I guess. Um, so exclusive minifigures to this set only. That is really cool. I do appreciate that. And of course, Minnie also comes with a guitar. Um, so she, you know, play around with the soundtrack. Speaking of the actual uh, soundtrack and um, music and sound for uh, Steamboat Willie, what, what this, um, what Steamboat was actually really known for, especially back in the day, is it was the first um, cartoon to actually use synchronized sound. And what that means is previous to Steamboat Willie, cartoons would just have music overlaid and there would be no sound effects going with whatever the characters were doing. And Walt Disney was the first to actually use sound effects um, synchronized to whatever the character is doing. So, you know, if someone's taking a hammer and hitting something, you, there would actually be a sound with that and also background music. So pushing kind of the animation industry forward, which I think is a cool little neat fact for um, anybody who's just curious about that. Um, but yeah, they really put the details everywhere. When Mickey is driving the steamboat, you know, he has this big captain's wheel. There's even little life preservers uh, on the sides, just like how it is in the animation. Um, so I really appreciate those details. Another thing about the set is that you have this um, kind of like display panel, right? And it's got obviously the, the Mickey uh, logo, and then it says 1928, another printed tile. Um, and then this thing just has a little kind of stand, uh, a, 
attached to the bottom. And you can actually take this off um, and you can take the two minifigures and display them on this stand if you so choose, um, if you wanna make it a little more presentable. But I actually think it looks better when you actually have the minifigures um, just on the actual steamboat having a good old time. That's just me, of course. <laughs> Um, but yeah, overall, it is a very well uh, made set. It's extremely durable. A lot of pieces in this, 751, I believe, pieces. Um, now, the last thing I just wanna talk about is price. It is $90. It does feel like a substantial set. So I will give it the fact that, yes, on first when you first look at this, you're probably thinking $90, that's insane, right? Um, but once you actually build it, you'll understand that there is a lot of pieces in this set, a lot of little details. Um, and I feel like that's part of the reason why the price is a bit higher than you might imagine for a set like this. Um, but I still think actually that you guys should wait maybe until the price comes down. I feel like this set is the type of person for his, uh, who is a hardcore Disney fan. So what I mean by that is if you bought probably the Disney castle, the 250 or $350 uh, Disney castle, um, then you probably want this set too if you're a big hardcore Disney fan. Um, and there is actually surprisingly a lot of hardcore Disney fans out there. I know some of you watching probably are like, what? Um, but it is a huge thing. There's a huge fan base for this type of stuff. Um, so I can see why Lego uh, made this. It's also the 90th anniversary of the Steamboat Willie uh, cartoon and Mickey Mouse, I believe as well. So it all kind of goes along and makes sense why they made it. And the set itself does look really accurate to the actual Steamboat. Yes, it's not to scale, not really at all, but it does look like it, functions like it, and has the details like it. So in that regard, it is a successful set. I do wish it was closer to $70 um, than $90. So um, if you want this set, but you're not like dying to get it right away, right when it comes out, then maybe wait, maybe get more of some you know, VIP points or uh, save up some money or something. Uh, so that way you don't have to spend that full $90 or just wait for it to go on sale. Um, I'm sure it will somewhere, probably Amazon. Um, but if you are a hardcore Disney fan, I can see why we, I, I could see someone paying that full $90 to get something like this if they were a big enough fan. But for everybody else, I would say it's a great set to own. I do recommend it, but I do also say wait a little bit longer, wait a couple months until it goes down at least 10 to $20. I don't think this $90 is quite worth it for the set. Um, but that's about it guys. Overall, again, it is a great set, uh, fun build, really detailed set, great minifigure selection, um, really great on all corners. It's just that price is where it's coming a little low on. Um, and then last thing I just wanna also say to everybody is that this set was provided by Lego. They did not pay me to say something or to review this set or anything like that. Um, all of this is my own opinion to you guys. Um, I do wanna just give the disclaimer that Lego did provide this set to me, but they did not say whatsoever what I can or cannot say. I can basically trash this set if I want to, um, but honestly, I, I don't really see a reason to other than the price. So that's my only negative is the price of this set. Everything else about it is fantastic. All right, guys, that's it. Thank you so much for watching this Lego review. Guys, let me know if you like this Stein review. You know, I can I, I can do some more like this with other lines of themes other than Star Wars and Overwatch and other the other than the main themes, I guess. But let me know down in the comments. Guys, give us a big thumbs up if you enjoyed the review. Other than that, guys, I hope you, <coughs> hope you guys have a great and wonderful day. Bye-bye.